Okay, this, uh, as you may have just seen, what is Shadowrun Chronicles. Um, it's uh, not part of the same um, uh, development studio as, uh, as Shadowrun Returns and Shadowrun Dragonfall. It, uh, it's by a separate company. Uh, it's not, therefore, the same uh, the same game in any way. So, be warned. Uh, I'm just going to uh, create a whole new character. Probably do something that um, doesn't doesn't uh, impact my ability to um, to kill things. Right in the box, so gang up. Cool. So yeah, I'm just creating a character here. This uh, may be a little dull. You can probably skip ahead a few minutes if you don't want to see all of this stuff. Oh, I don't want to get hit. Lucky. Boring. Right, so. Let's not do anything that reduces the amount of damage I can do. to do Mentor Spirit Snake. But on the other hand, I might survive better as an Urban Brawler. Let's do a Mentor Spirit Snake. Uh, let's pick a picture. I'm going for that. Hair. Now try and make the hair match the picture. Interesting. Not into the goggles, really. Ponytails. really necessary though. Uh, there we go. Right. What shall we call ourselves? I don't know. I already called one character. I wonder if we can generate. No. Let's go for Molly. Sort of. Right, create. So, let me explain what the game's about a bit. So, it's not the same as the other Shadowrun games, like I said, but it is a similar turn based com combat sort of role, and it's set in the same universe. Um, the universe itself is a, you know, an RPG game, and the computer game implementations for that are owned by Microsoft, and they've They've sold, they've given licenses to a few different companies. Subject now this ready one. for anesthetization. Let's just turn the volume down a bit. I did turn that down before I started, but it doesn't keep the settings. This is possibly one of many bugs that we will we will encounter as we play. 
because one of the problems with the game is they kind of rushed it out, I think. Uh, it is playable, it is enjoyable, but it's by no means really a complete game at this point. An estinization started. Prepare Cortex replacement. Cortex prepared. The command unit will be pleased. Hush, we should not discuss this. Malfunction in an estinization unit. We need to abort. The patient is regaining consciousness. Administer antiseptic manually. Administer. Yes. Let me... What are you... I'm sorry. Please, lie down. You were in an accident. Everything will be okay. No. No! Put that thing away! No, stay down, you... Oh. What are you doing? Please, stay back. This is all a misunderstanding! Ah! <laughs> Finally, I get through to you. What happened? Why are all these guys dead? Never mind. Get out of there before security catches you. Where am I? An underground research facility. You were heavily sedated. You're probably feeling a little out of it. Focus on my voice, and I'll guide you through. What do I do? Look for a way to open the door. There must be a button nearby. What happened? You were knocked out. They took you. Now we need to get you out of here. Please hurry. Okay. I killed him. And just in time. So, you can see it is a it is turn-based turn-based combat like like games you know and love. Great. Now move along quick. The exciting thing about this, really. Take him out. Don't think. Just do it. Something about this game is that. Good work. Now open that door over there. Is that you can't it? Go through the hallway. It allows for online co-op. That's it. So you can you can basically have. Uh, subject is in augmentation room three. Repeat. We have the subject in sight. Watch out! They have guns. I. I'll need to take them out. Flank them to get a better shot. So yes, yeah, this is the tutorial. That's uh. Good. You're in cover now. They'll have a harder time hitting you, but you're not in a good position to attack. I don't remember. Keep moving. Try to flank them. Yeah, so you can do. See? Uh, you do remember. You can do online call. So instead of having a team of uh, of uh, four people, like you do in, the, in you know, nice. Shadow Returns. Good to see that at least you're. I'm skipping over the story a bit here. Uh, they could actually be four see, real that people. Wasn't so hard. I, I think so. I was gonna meet this meddler uh, about a job. All right, so I've achieved the tutorial again. So yeah, you can play as a single player game. You just get uh, you just get henchmen that you can select, choose which ones you want to take with you, and uh, that is possible. Uh, the original. Kickstarter for this was life has been tough lately. You're out of luck and low on Nuyen. Was it basically to be a shadow run MMO? RC, uh, they, they've scaled that put back a little. The local fixer. So you make your way to the leather district to meet him. They used to call that neighborhood the combat zone. Things haven't changed much, it seems. So let's uh, talk about. Oh, I've got some skills to get to here. So I can choose to level some things up, can I? Current crown credit 8. So I've got 8 points, so I can choose to level up 2 things, essentially. I'm going to go 
now for automatics. And... Can I do lock picking? Right, so I don't know if we can do one or the other. Let's do lock picking. I can't do that. Is there anything that I can have for one point? No. Alright, so let's just see if I can level something else up later. Yeah, so. So now I need. That looks fine to me. Let's have some tactical items. Let's have a wagon card. Alright, let's equip that. That's one of the things I missed last time. I didn't equip any armour. And, uh, yes, I died on the second mission. Alright, so now we can, um... Now we can... Let's have a look. I guess we can't see that. Fine. Don't think so. Cowboy hat doesn't really suit the ears. I went for the chill with my other character. I think no hat is fine. We get to choose the hair again, but we've done that already. We get to choose the beard again, we've done that already. I don't fancy any of those really. Oh, it could be Neo. Let's be Neo. Cool. Road Warrior. So this is all just decorative. As far as I understand. Could have a pet. Let's let's have a dog. Okay. So this is the hub area. Yes, the original. Oh, where am I? Oh, there I am. All right, that's me. So the original. Uh, ambition for the game is much larger than what it's turned out um, the game ha had some serious bugs on the day when they launched it and uh, stopping people getting to serve and stuff and that sort of sabotaged their launch and as a result of the, that lack of income the uh, development part of the business uh, had to uh, declare bankruptcy recently uh, not it's not going completely bankrupt. It's um, it's you know it's, it's still operating. The bankruptcy is to protect you from creditors and give you time to sort out your debts. Now, however, the company that operates that owns the uh, IP and operates the servers is a separate company that's not gone bankrupt. So um, the servers will continue to operate. Development pace was slow, which sort of highlights the fact that the game isn't completely finished yet in all respects although there is another update that I promise will be out before anything else happens like like the development company liquidating um, but there shouldn't be a risk that you can't you can't play the game just uh, you know just because everything's uh, everything disappears 
so it is in the Steam sale. I bought it for 66% off earlier in the week. I think it's 50% off now. Are you Smedley? Mr. Pembrenton to you. Apologies, Mr. Pembrenton. Our mutual acquaintance, R.C., told me to get in touch with you. I'm just messing with you. Everyone around here calls me Smedley. Just because a chummer recommended you doesn't mean you get special treatment, though. Not expecting any. R.C. said I might be of use to you. Did he now? Well, here's how it works. You get an advance on your first job which I will recoup against your earnings if you're successful. I suggest you use it to buy yourself some gear. And if I fail the job? Then your worries are beyond material goods. Got it. I need the dough, so I'm in. Here's your advance. Check back with me when you're ready to talk business. All right. So here in the prologue, so these people, uh, 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 just friend. These are actually uh, player characters, uh, I think. Whereas uh, the NPCs uh, are these ones you can talk to. Uh, now, you'll notice no voice acting for this bit. Whether whether that's an improvement or a uh, improvement or 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 not is a matter of personal taste, I think. All right, so let's ask Pluron. Yes, yes. If you've seen one alley, you've seen them all. It has its charms, I tell you. Now I'm ready. Yeah, 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 I'm skipping through. I assume the problem is with someone? Spot on, my friend. Oops, up gang. gang called the Dragon We must go and sort them out. And this concerns you, why? Well, some of those citizens are my distributors, and trouble is bad for their business. Back off my turf or else. Got it. Not quite the words I would have chosen, but I am sure they will get the gist of it. I'll report back when I'm done. I admire your efficiency. But not quite so. A babysitter? You don't trust Consider it friendly support from my side. I yeah, usually yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. Trust Here me. we go. Payday. You're the boss, you call the shots. Just point me to where I need to be. So we have an agreement. You won't yep. be disappointed. So I didn't buy anything. Because uh I I'm saving up for a bigger gun. That's what I found uh, when my first playthrough. When I bought something at this point. I couldn't afford to. Uh, I couldn't afford to buy the buy the, the nicer gun. So, asked to install cyberware. Oh, I've got a pneumatic arm. Let's install the wired reflexes. And pneumatic arm. There we go. So that's my cyberware. Now, if you're not familiar with Shadowrun, you know, here I am 20 minutes into the video and I've not explained it to you yet. Shadowrun is, is uh, a cyberpunk universe where there's been some sort of schism that, that's made uh, basically magic and elves and dwarfs and orcs. This area is designated restricted under the Night Errant Explosive. You know, Real things in the in the known universe, along with, along with, uh, you know, high tech. You look like someone who knows what he's doing. Only when someone is picking up the tab. You need muscle. I'm your man. Finally, someone who speaks my language. What are you? I can blow holes in most people, or punch holes if you prefer. Wiz, RC told me you worked for Smedley before. I did. Knew him back when he was still called Boom. So what can you tell me about him? Boom? Used to be a sh- I think someone mentioned the Irish mob? I've never seen him with any mobster. Good to know. Thanks. Right, so yes. It's, it's a cyberpunk uh, universe. A very, uh, it's corporate... Corporate uh, ruling the roost and all that sort of thing. So we've got a job from Smedley. We didn't actually need to talk to Payday. 
you go here to the ta the cab, and you go on the mission. Welcome committee. So this is a two-player co-op mission, but because I'm not in co-op, I get to uh, select a henchman. So what I want is... Ooh. Let's go with Boomer, because she'll shoot things. This first mission is very straightforward, even I managed to do it. So basically, you go into the area and shoot everybody. But so, I guess this is it. You've done this before, right? Sure. Sort of. I can't believe Smedley stuck me with a newbie. Just don't go chicken shit on me when heads come off. I can handle myself. So let's go and, and read that. Let's talk to this Did woman. Smedley send you? You need to take care of this gutter scum quickly. That's what I'm here for. So let's sprint out into the street. Have a look. It's promising. Let's have him sprint over there. All right. I have trouble hitting them. Get closer. Let's shoot the dogs. Just the sort of whatever I am, you know. And let's. Uh, can he shoot? Yes. Let's shoot at that guy. Oh. You want to flank them if you can. Shooting into cover is usually just a waste of bullets. So I'm going to shoot him. So I'm flanking. So move up there and shoot the dog. And let's flank that guy. Ah. Well that was cheeky. I missed him. Accuracy is obviously not good. Oh, her accuracy is better though. Continue along the street. Right, right. So it's much like uh, turn based combat systems we've seen before, except with this cooperative uh, feature, which obviously I'm not doing here. But you know, imagine you could watch it. To get here, we can blow that up if we're payday. Let's do that. Payday. See that boarded up door? Kick that in and we can flank them. Okay. Hey, the Slayers left a little gift for us too. We should pick that up. Find us keepers and all. Smedley won't mind? Trek, no. As long as we get the job done. Alright. Do the dog with a big knife. What else have we got going on here? Let's move her there.
need to start the gun. My mistake. Yeah, I finally hit something. Yeah, and behind that bloke, shoot him in the back of the head. Beautiful. Hey, they can uh, take that. Shoot through the window. Would you believe? Oh, there you go. Let's move up. Take him out. Take a flanking position there. Oh, need to reload the gun. More for me. Can he hit him from there? No. Is the answer. I'm pretty sure I can hit him. There we go. You can tell Smedley we're done. Mission accomplished. So that was the uh, beginner's mission. Oh, he knows already. He's waiting for you to return to him. Would have been easy if those guys didn't have time to prepare for us. So now we all have to escape. Two camera reward, which means I can level up my character. So, you can see the combat, it's not quite as, uh, it's not as in depth as the Shadowrun games, really. Welcome back. The other Shadowrun games, obviously. Thanks. Strange how they seem to know we were coming. Almost like someone warned them. Yes, peculiar. But you handled yourself well, I too. So here's the other half of the fee. Don't tell me you did not set this up. This was a test, right? You lied to me. I might have announced to their leadership that they could expect a physical response from me. I do need to make it known I am a man of my word. And you used me as an expendable asset? I believe that is the job description of a Shadowrunner. But I was confident that you could handle the heat. Well, I can. What now? Now I know your abilities under pressure, and you graduate from my personal Shadowrunner preschool. Come see me again if you want big boys. Area is designated restricted. Okay. So I've claimed karma. Now how do I level up? Uh, not that. Not that. Here we go. So I can improve my body. Yeah, more hit points. That's good. And also, I suspect I can buy a gun. You know, who had the guns? Catalog. So this compares it to the uh, gun you've currently got. So this is uh, about as accurate, a bit more damage, a lot more critical chance. 
That is basically what I've already got, except slightly more uh, sportsman. Yeah, it's different. Shotguns. Now, it should be noted that I um, just got my skills in automatics, so I'm going to buy this Praetor thing. And I'll sell. Immediately and vacate the premises. Ah, oh, I can't sell it because I'm equipped. Right. Let's equip the other gun. Now sell. Sell that. Bonus. So yeah, these are all the shops. This is the, the hub area. Uh, I've got no friends, obviously. Uh, you can chat with people. So, you know... Buying this game is a little bit of a risk. You've got to trust the guys that are uh, that, that are uh, selling it. That the servers will continue to operate because it is an online game, despite having having a uh, uh, kind of running them. Despite having a single player way of, of playing it, it really works best um, if you play with friends. Uh, so there is an amount of risk. Have, having said that, the price now is a lot lower than when it first came out. So I would say you know the risk is the risk is reduced, and it is worth. It's currently about a tenner, I think, in the sale. Definitely, it's worth that much of a risk. I would have said. This area is designated restricted under the night area mm -hmm. exclusivity. Of be a hacker. <laughs> yes. It's worth a ten up. Oh, did I learn that? I think I did. No, I didn't. So, with all these games, it's probably best to um, focus on a few categories. Rather than uh, rather than spread it all out, I don't know if I can unlearn things. No, but at the same time, it might be worth exploring a bit with the early characters. So, in my opinion, worth checking out for about tenner, despite despite the apparent risk. Um, certainly, they got a big boost in their player numbers. From the from the sales in Steam over the last week, so if you were thinking of ever checking it out, now is the time. Uh, it's probably as busy as it's ever been, and uh, yeah, native line this game always worth always worth supporting. It could be really good, I think, uh, but it needs players.